So you're thinking about moving right here to Houston, Texas, and you want to know what are the best schools. Maybe you're looking to move here or relocate from out of state or a place where public schools really aren't a great option. Well, I'm here to tell you Houston does have some fantastic public school systems, but you are going to want to look into them before making that move because at the end of the day, people call us all the time and they say, hey, Kyler, what are the best schools in Houston? And for two reasons, I can't answer that. One, I'm not legally allowed to because it could be considered steering. But the other reason is I don't know what your definition is of a good school. And so in today's video, I'm going to break down those nuances for you and give you a clear process to identify the best schools for you and your children. That way, that's one less thing you have to worry about when helping you make a smooth move right here to the Houston area. So if that interests you, stick around and let's get after it right now. So before we dive in, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and tap that bell for notifications. That way we can keep you up to date on everything going on right here in Houston, Texas. My name is Kyler Ferris. I'm the broker owner of Ferris Realty, and we get calls, texts, emails every single day for people just like you that are watching our videos online, trying to figure out what the best schools are in Houston or where the best area is. And so if that is you, don't be shy. Go ahead and pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas. Now, this is the video you've all been waiting for. We get asked this. I would say this is a top five question that we get asked is, what are the best schools? And it makes sense. I mean, if you have kids, I've got kids, I want the best for them. And so ultimately the goal of today's video is to help you get that, to get the best schools. And so as I mentioned in the intro, I am not allowed to tell you my opinion of schools, but what I can tell you is I can tell you uh, my general take on the schools here in the Houston area. And then I can also point you to the resources that we highly recommend you use that actually are going to give you those answers that you're asking for. At the end of the day, you know, one of the main reasons, even if I was allowed to, I can't tell you which schools are good and which schools are bad is because I don't have kids in those schools. And so the best way for you to find out how the schools are is going to be to talk to people, parents, and students that have kids enrolled in those specific schools. So that's going straight to the source and not everybody can do that. And so I do want to here in just a minute, put you onto some resources that you can use to help guide you when you are looking to make that move to Houston. The move here can be overwhelming and schools can be the top priority for some people. And so the question you need to be asking yourself is what is your definition of a top school? Some people have kids in schools from out of states that are in charter schools or magnet schools, and they are tip top cream of the crop, the best schools. And so if that's what you're looking for in Houston, and that's your priority, that's going to narrow down the list rather quickly. And that's totally okay. We can, we can set your search up specific to you for that. But I will say on a general level, when you are looking in the Houston area at schools, for the most part, you're comparing A's to B's. And so uh, A's are going to be your top rated schools and they're going to meet certain qualifications. They're going to have certain uh, student to teacher ratios. And ultimately, all of those different things are going to culminate in their A rating. And so one of the best resources that you can use, I'm going to dive into my computer right now. One of the best resources that you can use is going to be niche.com. And there's also another website called greatschools.com. They simply are doing the same things. They just have a different rating system. And so I like niche.com. Whenever you go on niche.com, what I like about it is it keeps it really simple. And so initially when you're looking in the Houston area, I think my tip for you would be look at the specific schools that your kid's going to go to. And so, for example, you've got Cypress Falls High School. This is a specific school with a specific rating. Now it's in an independent school district. And so this one happens to be in Cypress Fairbanks ISD. And so you can see that the overall grade for the school district is here. But if you wanted to go and dive into the specific schools, you can do that. You just click on schools and then you could, from there you could go up and you could pick high schools or junior highs. And then the other thing that I think is important when you're looking at this and you're asking yourself that question, what is my definition of a good school? which is the question you should be asking is you can look at these different subcategories. And as you can see here, it's not just on academics. You've got academics. You've got a teacher rating system here. 
You've got the clubs and activities. That's going to be your extracurriculars. You're going to have sports as well. Sports are a huge thing here in the Houston area. And so if your kid is like a song football prodigy, there are certain schools that you're going to want to focus on based on their track record and their athletic program. Uh, you've got diversity, you've got college preparation, you've got administration, and you've got food. And so all of these things are going to add up to this cumulative score. But once again, these school districts in the Houston area are massive. If you didn't know this already, some of these school districts are going to have 12 plus high schools. And these high schools are all going to be the largest high school sizes in Texas. They're going to have 2,000 to 4,000 students. And so it's very important to look at these specific school ratings. Another thing that's important to note is some schools in the Houston area, because it's growing so quickly, especially in the suburbs and in a lot of the master plan communities that we cover, they actually don't have school ratings yet because a lot of them are newer elementary schools that they're building in these master plan communities. And there really is just no grounds for a rating. It takes a couple years of data to start formulating these ratings. Another important caveat to know is sometimes these school ratings lag a little bit. And so you might see a school that, ha you know, on greatschools.com is a five out of a 10, but you talk to parents that have their kids in those schools and they would say it's an eight or a nine out of 10. And those ratings are just lagging a couple of years. Maybe that school got a new principal and a lot has changed. And so I, I don't want you to live and die by these school ratings ultimately um, take them with a grain of salt, salt use them as a guide, um, maybe to help narrow down the list of where to look. But then from there, you're going to want to talk to people, like I said, here that are on the ground that have their kids in these schools. And so um, ultimately, this is going to be one of your best resources. You can go in here, for example, and you can type in specific schools and you can see that Conroe High School, which is where you know my kids would be zoned to, uh, it's a B overall, and then I can look at academics, B, teachers, B, diversity, A, college prep, B. And so I can go through and say, okay, you know, that's that meets my standards. And so ultimately, we're putting the ball back in your court, and we're going to say, hey, you do your research using these tools to find the best schools for you and your kids. We'll answer questions that we're allowed to answer. We'll help point you in the right direction. But ultimately, what we can do is if schools are your top priority, we can base your whole search off of schools. And so we can start with the schools. You can provide that list to us, and we will make sure that your search is dialed in where you're only seeing home options that are zoned to these specific schools. That way you can take a deep breath and make sure that your kids are going to end up exactly where you want them. So in summary, with as far as schools here in the Houston area go, I would say on a general level, most of the areas that we focus on in our business uh, where we make these videos on YouTube, they're going to have really good schools. And so um, at the end of the day, it's your decision as to what you think a good school is for you and your kids. Use these resources. That's niche.com and greatschools.com. And then like we always say, if you do have questions, don't be shy. Reach out to us. Give us a call. Shoot us a text or send us a quick email. And then that way we can help you make a smooth move right here to the Houston area. Thanks for watching and go check out some of our other videos.